Freedom in mind, faith in words, pride in our hearts, memories in our souls. Let's salute the nation on this Republic Day. A very good morning to our manager, Sister Christine, our principal, Sister Edwina, our vice principal, Sister Mercy, our supervisor, Ms. Philomena, teachers, parents and all my dear friends. Today, we have all gathered here on this virtual platform to celebrate the 73rd Republic Day. We, the students of 6th P, are privileged and heartily welcome you all for our press service. Let us now join in the celebration as our manager, Sister Christine, unfurls the national flag followed by national anthem. School National Salute! National Anthem begins! Just a part. I'm lifting 
festival that is celebrated every year with immense zeal and enthusiasm. India, after achieving freedom from the British Raj in 1947, was still governed by all the old laws. The laws were based on colonial regulations, and there was a growing need in the nation to come up with its own laws that would govern us. On 26 January 1950, our Indian Constitution came into force, thus marking the historical moments in the Indian history. And from that day, we started celebrating this day as Republic Day. The governing principle of the Indian Constitution is for the people, of the people, and by the people. The Constitution is the guide that makes the country run in a perfect way, and it shows that the ultimate power of the country is in the hands of the people. After the newly announced Constitution of India under the chairmanship of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar. India became an established democratic country on the world stage. Let us see the significance of the Constitution of India. The Constitution of India is the supreme law of the land. The longest written constitution of any country on the earth. It took the Constituent Assembly a little less than three years to draft this monumental document. The Assembly adopted the Constitution of Independent India on the 26th of November 1949, and it came into effect on the 26th of January 1950. The preamble, which commences with the magical words "We, the people of India," captures the lofty spirit of our constitution. India is a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic, which assures the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. The nation recognizes justice, liberty, and equality as basic principles of a citizen's lives. and seeks to promote fraternity among them our constitution establishes india as a union of states with a parliamentary system of democracy all adult citizens have the right to vote without any discrimination on any grounds making universal adult franchise a hallmark of our democratic system it envisages that the legislature will represent and enact the will of the people while an independent judiciary will serve as the conscience keeper of the nation the fundamental rights and directive principles of state policy which are the conscience of our constitution are enshrined in parts 3 and 4 fundamental rights are essential for leading a dignified existence and are legally enforceable in courts of law They not only protect individuals from arbitrary, prejudicial state actions, but some of these rights also protect them against actions of other individuals. The directive principles of state policy are not enforceable in courts of law, but are fundamental in the governance of the nation. It is the duty of the state to strive to apply these precepts in formulating laws. to establish a just social order and to promote the welfare of the people part 4a of the constitution non enforceable fundamental duties of citizens which form the building blocks of the india that we the citizens have resolved to build the constitution of india is a living document and multiple amendments have been made to it over the years to accommodate emerging needs and challenges It is incumbent upon we the people of India who have adopted and enacted this document as the cornerstone of our democracy not only to understand appreciate and protect its sanctity but also to put it to work as we build a sare jahan se acha hindustan hamara jaya hind
Our constitution declares that India is sovereign. That means independent. Socialist means welfare of all. Secular that means people will follow whatever religion they choose. Democratic the country has a government elected by the people. Republic the head of the parliament is the elected president. The main Republic Day celebrations are held in the national capital New Delhi with a glittering parade and a world famous parade at the Rajpath which is a dignified presentation of the excellence of our armed forces and the beauty of our cultural diversity. The President of India unfurls the flag on Rajput. Celebrations are also held with varying degrees of formality as state capitals where the Governor of the state unfurls the national flag of India and the national anthem is solemnly sung. Republic Day is an occasion for all of us as it instills mixed emotions of nationalism and patriotism in all the people of India and commitment to the Indian constituents. As we celebrate the 73rd Republic Day, let's invoke God's blessing on our country by listening to the word of God from the Holy Bible followed by its reflection and prayers. A reading from the Holy Bible, Psalm 85, verses 1 to 3 and 6 to 9. Lord, you have been merciful to your land. You have made Israel prosperous again. You have forgiven your people's sin and stopped being angry with them. You have pardoned all their wrongs. You held back your furious rage. Make us strong again and we, your people, will praise you. Show us your constant love, O Lord, and give us your saving help. I am listening to what the Lord God is saying. His promise placed to us, His own people. If we do not go back to our foolishness way, surely He is ready to save those who honor Him, and saving presence will remain in our land. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflection the verses 1 to 3 and 6 to 9 from Psalms 85 tells us that the Lord has been merciful to all of us here on earth. He has forgiven all our sins, great and small. He promises peace if we do not go back to our foolish ways. He is always ready to save us and will be with us always. He has never given up on us people. If we fall down, the Lord will make us strong again. The Lord will help us and show His constant love in different ways. O oh Lord, let me shine as a true citizen and serve my country in my best way possible. Help all Indians to fulfill their duties and responsibilities. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, bless India, our country, and make it true to the ideals of freedom, fraternity, justice, and equality for all. Make us aware of our heritage and our constitutional rights as well as our responsibilities as citizens of our country. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, we pray for our brave soldiers who protect and defend our borders in all seasons. We also pray for our Army, Navy and Air Force too, who also equally serve our country with courage and loyalty. Your response, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord God, we trust to you the families and community affected coronavirus wherever they may be. We pray that your spirit might be impressed to Researching new medicine and treatment. Keep us strong, faith, hope and love. Your response, Lord, your prayer. We celebrate our nationalism in a sense that we are Indian first and Hindus, Muslim, Sikhs, Christian after. We pledge to take India to near heights. We affirm that we have to determination to overcome the obstacles. Now, 
one of my friend sing the song we can achieve we have a vision for tomorrow just believe just believe we have a goal for mother india we can achieve we can achieve you and me will do our part stand together heart to heart we are going to show the world what india can be we can achieve we can achieve there is something down the road that we can try for we are told no reach to hope that we can try for there's a spirit in the air it's a feeling we all share we are going to show the world what india can be we can achieve we can achieve count on me india count on me to give my best and more you and me will do our part stand together heart to heart we are going to show the world what india can be we can achieve we can achieve i would now request sister christine to speak a few words on this occasion on the 73rd republic day good morning to all present on the auspicious occasion of republic day republic day is celebrated on 26th january every year to remember the day when the constitution of india came into effect though india got its independence on august 15 1947 the constitution came into effect on january 26 1950 it replaced the government of india act as the governing document of india and thus changing the country into a newly formed republic this year india will be celebrating its 73rd republic day the president hoists the national flag and addresses the country with the republic day speech by encouraging words to everybody in the nation present there and others as well in new delhi magnificent parades are organized by regiments of the indian army navy air force police and paramilitary forces at rajpath all the states of india showcase their culture uniqueness by building beautiful tableaus during the parade there are air shows by air force and much more to commemorate this day the nation has journeyed with ups and downs for the last 75 years of its independence undoubtedly india has achieved great success on many fronts at the same time it faces many problems such as poverty unemployment health care education communalism inequality and many more nevertheless there is no reason to be pessimistic about the glaring challenges of the nation the need of the hour is that we all citizens of india have the responsibility to contribute to the common good and commit to adhering to constitutional norms in every field of governance as we celebrate the mary ward week just like mary ward we are called to fidelity even in the most difficult times we must continue to do good works with verity especially in reaching out to the needy and underprivileged in society let us try to keep up the republic day message of solidarity 
equality and harmony. Happy Republic Day! So friends, our nation is an unique one which we all are proud of. In diversity, there is unity. We are all of different nature. We belong to different states. We have different religion. We have different languages. We belong to different family. But we are one. We conclude our prayer service with a dance. ओ सदते मैं जावा मेरी दिल जानिया मैं शीश झुकावा मेरी दिल जानिया तेरे नाम जो कर जावा कम है वो तू सारे जहां से प्यारी मेरे भारत की बेटी है सारे जहां पे भारी मेरे भारत की बेटी दिल जान है शान हमारी मेरे भारत की बेटी जीती रहो जीतती रहो